This video is still on the chapter of um, extension fields and we are going to introduce now the concept of splitting fields. Before I give the definition for the, what a splitting field is, a quick introduction. Um, we saw um, in the previous video this sort of fields. Okay, so the ring of polynomials over the rationals, the vision ring with um, ideal generated by x squared plus 1, and we saw that this is a field, and actually this was an extension field for another field. Okay, and we saw in the previous video that x plus the, the generator is a zero um, is a zero a zero of this polynomial of course so this polynomial um, it belongs to the to the ring of this ring of polynomials in this ring of polynomials this polynomial has no zero and with this uh, polynomial we built this uh, field and in this field this polynomial has a zero and the zero you can check that just put x plus uh, the, the, the generator here and you will get a zero okay since that is true um, since that is true I'm going to call this zero uh, alpha so if alpha is a zero for this polynomial uh, minus alpha will also be a zero for that polynomial so we can factor x squared um, plus one okay all plus and minus alpha are both zeros for this polynomial right x squared plus one so we can factor them in x plus alpha x minus alpha where you get x squared minus alpha squared so this is the same as writing x squared minus x squared plus this the, the, the polynomial generator okay and at the same time so this is true and this is also true x squared plus uh, x squared plus one equals minus one because if you if you add one here and add one here you're going to get zero here and you're going to get zero here because x squared plus one will be zero in this in this field okay so you can write so the, all, all this is the same you see uh, minus one okay uh, minus one and minus one plus this okay so x minus alpha times x plus alpha is the same as x squared minus minus one right or x squared minus all this okay or x squared minus all this okay all this is x squared plus one so this shows that x squared plus 1 can be written as a product of linear factors in some extension of the rationals, okay? So this shows that x squared plus 1 can be written as a product of linear factors in some extension of the rationals. Well, and one here can think, well, maybe that was pure luck, or it was coincidental oh, it just happened this way in this particular case uh, that's exactly what we are going to see now we are going to get the definition of splitting fields and see that this is always possible sometimes challenging but always possible so the definition so this is the definition of splitting field let e be an extension field and let f of x b 
be in this field. It is, so you have f of x here, and here you have an extension. Okay. Okay. So let E be an extension field and let f of x, so f of x, this polynomial is here in this field. We say, or in this ring of polynomials, we say f of x splits in E, f of x, this one, it splits in E, if f of x can be factor as a product of linear factors in E of x. So, if you can do f of x times g of, f, g of x times h of x, where g and h are both here, okay, linear factors, if you can do that in the, the, in the extension field, okay. So, we call E, this here, we, we call E a splitting field for f of x over f okay a splitting field for f of x over f if f of x splits in e but no proper subfield of e let us consider this uh, polynomial f of x equals x squared plus one the same polynomial we have been using in the ring with co the ring of polynomials with coefficients of uh, the, the rations. Okay. Okay, so x, x, x squared plus 1 can be factor as linear factors like this. So it's obvious that f of x splits in the complex numbers. So, but if you want to split it, over the rationals, you can split it this way, okay, r plus si, where r and s are in the rationals, okay, you can split it in the complex, but you can also get this, this extension, okay, so a splitting field over the reals is the complex numbers. So, another example, we saw x squared plus 1, x squared minus 2 is in this uh, field, uh, no zeros here, but x squared minus 2 splits in the reals. Okay, but if you want to, uh, it can be it's a splitting field, a splitting field over the rationals, because these one are the reals, okay? If you want it over the rationals, the splitting field over the rationals are this Gaussian uh, rational square root 2, r plus s square root 2. You can check that you have zeros for this in this, uh, in this, in this field. <coughs> 